Hey guys, Kenny here, the Hobby Cop, and thanks for stopping by my channel. So as the title says, this video I'm going to help you with uh, organizing your inventory and how to easily access that on eBay. So the reason that I um, came up with this video idea is because the other day I purchased something and I found it kind of funny because this was a, a big eBay seller and in their title um, they said something like HBIN. Uh, so obviously when they sell the item they know where to pick that item uh, out of their inventory. So obviously when I started on eBay, and a lot of you guys may be there as well, I just had one simple bin that I organized my inventory in. So now, look behind me, I had all this stuff, and I need something now to keep it organized. Uh, and that's probably why you're looking at this video. And it's quite simple. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to do this. It's right there in front of their eyes. Uh, but I just think it's not explained well enough by eBay. Uh, so this is what this video is, is to help you out. So let's go check it out on our multi-screen here. So as you can see in front of me or behind me, uh, we're on eBay. Ooh, Emmett Smith. That probably popped up using their ads because I'm a big Emmett Smith guy. And I've bought Emmett Smith stuff on eBay as well. Side note. Anyway, but so we're going to go look at, we want to sell something. So right here at the top, it says sell. And we're going to get put in, we'll just put, maybe I want to sell this hat. So I'll just put hat here just to start a listing. We'll get started. So here is your typical listing page. Uh, you can see above me is the title. We'll say red hat. Now, side note, you should use all of the, I guess, 80 characters to do so. Uh, subtitle, if you want to pay extra money, you can do that. So here it is right now. Like I said, right in front of you, custom SKU. So you can see when I do my drop down, I have hat bin, A bin, shipping closet, spare room, hat bin. These are all ones that I used recently. Uh, but I can go A bin. Uh, number 35 so let's say I have a, a bin and inside of I have a bunch of t-shirts and number one two three on top of the stickers there's and then what I also do is a little side note is I also put the cost of goods in there um, so if I'm making offers and stuff like that I don't have to go into a separate spreadsheet to try to find how much something costs me to make, uh, make a good offer so what I'll do here is I'll go five dollars so now that's in and I go through and I do all the other stuff in my listing um, and that stays there and the the best part is where it says custom skew nobody else sees that except for me so if we click on this here create a custom label uh, to enter information you want to track such as your own skew number so eBay should say it's only visible by you the seller because uh, people are maybe afraid that stuff will go up there uh, on their listing but it will not so I have a bin number 35 and I know that I spent five dollars on it for so it's great for my offers and also I find it's great for uh, when I do fill up my spreadsheet um, everything's right there so I list like what it sold uh, what my cost of goods was what it sold for shipping fees and my net profit um, so now everything's right at my fingertips here let's go switch over to an actual listing that sold for me uh, I'll show you what that looks like when you uh, sell an item so we'll go in here in my selling orders so here you can see um, I don't think I've get, done it for every single one here but pretty much all of them uh, let's just move my head here or this side all right, so right now we're looking at this Harvard uh, University Rare World's Only Curious George store uh, size medium shirt. And you can see the custom SKU now pops up there. Clothing bin number one, and I paid $4.50 for that. And it sold for $24.99. Uh, below that I have clothing bin number one, $4.50. Uh, here we have custom SKU E bin two dollars and fifty cents. That that's what I paid for it. Uh, so then you see fables. I didn't put a, a list a price or a bin for that. Uh, so you can see there's nothing there. So right here I have the title. There's the title. But in, that custom SKU pops up there. It's not in this fable. So you can see Justin Leagues. I have J bin three dollars. Here we got D bin eight dollars. Spare room a dollar twenty five. I keep all my magazines. Um, in the spare room and this one I didn't put in as well um, but I think I actually still just had that on the listing table because it sold that night I listed so there's a simple way I'll just go back for you guys here how to uh, do your custom SKUs simply that custom SKU you put your inventory you put anything you want to have uh, there nobody else sees it except for you um, so put your a bin number 35 you can put how much you paid for it if you want uh, you can put any information any reminder that you want uh, make sure I package it this way or, or whatever you have uh, let's see if there's any limit on the characters let's see 
So it does stop there. So it looks like you have roughly, I don't know, 20 some characters to put in there. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, like, subscribe. I have 15 videos. I have what sold video, card videos. Uh, I'd love for you to stick around and watch some other videos, and we'll see you later.